Boxing Gyms, G-E-M-S, Boxing Gyms. Check it out, study some of those videos there. The guy's phenomenal. Fight fam, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification. Class in session. Phrases like he timed him are very common but nondescript explanations to what actually takes place in the ring. Timing is typically pattern recognition. He timed him literally means he took note of his opponent's repetitive pattern and used it against him. This is what timing really looks like. In Haney Cambosos, Cambosos ended up using repetitive stance switching to initiate offense. The pattern was switch southpaw, switch back orthodox, then attack immediately on the front shift or the front step. Haney timed the repetitive pattern by attacking Cambosos as he was breaking his base switching stances. More specifically, while Cambosos was in the middle of resetting on his front foot during either shift or stance switch. In Crawford vs. Avenesian, Crawford was already setting a trap which is essentially baiting his opponent to fall in line with his timing. The trap was he'd contact his opponent with probes or frames then release to controls and pause which is a your turn type of insinuation. When Avenesian obliged, he pulled then he countered with the backhand uppercut. However, the pattern he recognizes after the uppercut, Avenesian would keep his head stationary and counter with the backhand every time. So Crawford just repeated the pattern with an adjustment after the uppercut. At times, a fighter only has to see something once for him to pick up on something he likes to take advantage of, so he'll mimic the same movements to run it back as we see in these next two examples with Gary Antoine Russell and Rigo. Gary or his team simply noticed that after his op stepped back and changed levels to defend the cross, he countered with the backhand but left his lead hand down. So let's repeat the pattern with an adjustment. Instead of transferring his weight to the back foot after the cross, he left it on the front foot for the hook and combination. Rigo quickly noticed that after he fainted and his opponent slipped, the op would come back up with the double jab circling forward and left. So Rigo repeated the feint to start the sequence, then split the jabs with the cross. Xander's op will repeat the pattern of changing levels to initiate offense.
So instead of waiting for him to commit, Xander timed the sequence by attacking the level change. In Teal vs. Comey, Comey would start the repetitive pattern of jabbing, hesitating, which is a bait, then throwing an overhand. Teal timed the pattern by waiting and watching for the sequence, then throwing his overhand, making sure he got his head off the line. In Ward vs. Dawson, when Ward would initiate offense, he would step or shuffle in, in which Dawson would repeatedly try to counter with a lead hand hook. So Ward ran the sequence back, but instead shuffles in place, widening his base, dropping levels, and throwing the backhand, leaving room for the swivel jab to beat the hook. In Lomachenko vs. Martinez, Martinez was completely dropping the backhand to block backhands to the body. After Lomachenko fainted to test what he saw, the pattern was recognized. He used the level change to faint body and targeted the head with the backhand. In Joshua vs. Usyk 1, Usyk had the repetitive pattern of chopping his feet on a shuffle to come forward with offense. The subtle movement created a slight feint but was also a big tail as Usyk's head would come forward then pause when he hits his back leg or even fade slightly and come forward again. Relevant side note, Usyk has a significant hand and foot speed advantage over Joshua. However, if the speed isn't changed, the repetitive pattern is the same. That's precisely why timing beats speed. Joshua simply timed the pause or fade with backhand crosses. In Martin vs. Rivera, Rivera was having some success stepping inside the Southpaw Martin's lead foot and landing the reaching cross. Instead of keeping the back leg planted, Martin started to time the repetitive pattern with slight step backs and outside slips, then the counter cross. In Baturi of Yard, Yard showed a pattern of changing levels then coming back up with the backhand uppercut. Baturi of timed the level change with essentially a fight ending overhand. Finally, in Zoo vs. Harrison, Harrison repeatedly changed levels then came back up with an up jab to initiate offense. So Zoo simply started attacking the level change to time the pattern. 